right back to the phone calls. Next up is Jay in Greensboro, North Carolina. Hi, Jay. Hello. Hello, Ms. Hanegraaff. I appreciate your time, sir. God bless you. God bless you. Um, my question is, um, maybe it's a little uncomfortable, but I, I don't know that uh, you, you always go to the Word and, you know, find the answer for me. Um, I've been married over 25 years, and my wife and I, we've always enjoyed um, a healthy sex life, but the last few years she hasn't, you know, been wanting to, uh, you know, have relations with me, and it's just been really hard, and I know that um, it's not right to masturbate, you know, but... I just don't know what else to do, sir. Um, I, I feel uncomfortable also with it. I'm really trying to let the Holy Spirit regenerate me, and I don't want to grieve the Holy Spirit, and I want to live for Jesus. So what's your opinion on that, sir, if you don't mind? Yeah, I mean, I think it's uh, probably presumptive for me to try to diagnose the whole situation as an electronic soundbite, but let me give you a couple of principles. Uh, the first principle, from my perspective, would simply be that for you to have a satisfying relationship with your wife on a mental, on a spiritual, on a physical plane takes the investment of quality time. I mean, I think we oftentimes treat, and I was talking about this in an interview I did earlier this afternoon, we often treat God no better than we do our most cherished relationships. What I mean by that is we want intimacy without the investment of quality time. And I think just as we often rush into God's presence before our knees have hit the ground, we're already thinking about getting back into our frenzied, frenzied lifestyle. I think in the same way, we do the same thing with, uh, with, with our treasure, treasured relationships. We don't nurture them. When you don't nurture them, well, then you end up being in a situation where solo sex uh, becomes the only way uh, to relieve that particular God-given gift. But that's not the way to do it. Uh, solo sex does not fit God's design because it is divorced from the beauty of marital sex being relational and a way to serve another selflessly. It, it, it is radically focused on self to wit, solo sexuality. It's radically focused on self. It misses the signpost reality in every way for what we would term holy sex. And remember, when two people come together, it's not open, it's closed. It is a holy communion uh, between two people. So there are some basic principles. Uh, the Bible doesn't speak directly to this, but it does speak to it in principle, the basic principles, don't lust, uh, don't fantasize after someone you're not married to. Uh, certainly masturbation in conjunction with pornography is sinful. Uh, but what we can say the Bible's explicit about is, is that we were created male and female with sexual intercourse to be restricted within marriage. And I think an argument could be made that we were made for sexual union, male and female, not for, as I mentioned earlier on, solo sexual activity. So I, I, I think it's important to go back to the root cause um, and, 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 and nurture that relationship, get counseling if you need counseling. Uh, do what you do within the community of faith so that you're not walking uh, this path alone, and get some good resources. One of my favorites is by Joe Dallas. Uh, he called it the game plan, uh, the men's 30-day strategy for attaining sexual integrity. Uh, I, I think this is one of the most helpful books I've ever promoted over the years, particularly in an age in which uh, there's rampant pornography, there's a lot of solo sexuality. Um, and, 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 and this brings you back uh, to, 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 to a baseline where you can start nurturing the relationship and start using your vessel in a way that's pleasing to the Lord as opposed to displeasing to the Lord. Yes, yeah, wow, that's good. That is really good, sir. I can see how we can do that. I, 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 that opened my eyes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, Jay, thank you for calling and thanks for oh, being hey, this Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. God bless you. God bless you.